The police would have been the best people to support the people of Kenya, but what is happening in Kenya is even annoying because I can't believe that police are arresting people, police are firing tear gas against the people of Kenya, and police are like this is crazy because I, I still don't get this. Why is police, military important in the country? They are important in the country not to arrest the people, but to ensure that there is peace in the country. The police, the military would have been the best people to guide the people. To support them to ensure that they do not damage properties and to ensure that they protest peacefully but if the police are firing tear gas against the people and they are arresting the people what do you think the people will do the people will retaliate and that is going to worsen the situation in kenya and that is what is not supposed to be happening something has to be done quick and immediate right now the protest is spiking to a different level in kenya i don't know the future how it stands for kenyans because it's actually very bad it's sad killing people arresting people and so many things happening people have been adopted and if the law can deal with this why not the people go by the law now we are going to look at the constitution of kenya how to remove a president out of office and there are two ways to take a president out of office but i'm going to build on one but then these are the two ways to take a president out of office what i looked into the constitution of kenya now this constitution i don't know if it has been revised or that is slowly. now the first one we're talking about is incapacity and the second one i'll be explaining to you is impeachment now the incapacity in such a way that if there is you know fiscal or mental retardation where the person is unable to manage the affairs of the country by affairs of the country then the president can be removed from office and this involves a series of steps now to the impeachment impeachment is just a charge of misconduct against someone who managed public office in this case we're talking about president ruto william now let me break it down about the impeachment how to take a president out of office by impeachment and that is Particularly what I think the people of Kenya would have been able to follow by law to take the president out of office because if court ruled that the president steps out of office by the demand of the people, I think it becomes a final deal. But then why is everyone not ready to go by the law or there is some means of compromising? I think the people believe that the law can be compromised. The people can be convinced the people can be bribed and you know high level of corruption in african countries can actually lead to so many things happening going by the law but then i still advise that the people go by the law rather than the killings rather than the arrest rather than the violence rather than police fighting citizens because police are not supposed to fight citizens this is actually unfair now let's go by removal of president by impeachment now i'm going to read this to you what the steps that are supposed to be done what to you know to go through to be able to take a president out of office per the constitution of kenya now they said removal of president by impeachment now we're talking about kenya a member of the national assembly supported by at least a third of all the members and may move a motion for the impeachment of the president for the misconduct of the president for the high tax hikes in the country for the unemployment for the high cost of living and no jobs in the country so at least a third of the members may move a motion against all these things happening in kenya right now article 145 clause 1 section a attend a lawyer today on the ground of a gross violation of a provision of this constitution or any other law this is on the grounds that maybe the president have violated anything regarding the constitution or by any law section b where there are serious reasons for believing that the president has committed a crime under national or international law or for gross misconduct section c so that is what it is saying it means that if the people want the president of kenya out of office by the constitution talking about impeachment now on the ground that the president have violated anything in the country like the constitution or any other law 
or where maybe there is serious reasons of believing that the person have committed a crime under national or international you know by law or maybe there is a series of misconduct now classifying the problem in kenya right now i can say maybe the people are crying out for tax hikes and maybe the high cost of living and the unemployment rate in the country the people are suffering and that is the report we having per you know the protests going on in kenya the article 145 clause 2 section a if a motion under clause 1 is supported by at least two thirds of all the members of the national assembly and when you look at the population of kenya right now that are fighting that the president should step down popularly called gen z they are even more than people that can you know they can yeah you get what i'm talking about so why not the people go by law well let's go to section a of um clause two the speaker shall inform the speaker of the senate of that resolution within two days and this was what was supposed to happen in the earlier stage even not at this time you understand now section b the president shall continue to perform the functions of the office pending the outcome of the proceedings required by this article so the people would have filed the removal of the president by impeachment of maybe any void yeah because so many things is happening and per what is happening and per what the people are complaining is more than violation and it's more than misconduct why not they go by this you understand so the plus three within seven days after receiving notice of a resolution from the speaker of the national assembly so the speaker of the senate shall convene a meeting of the senate to hear charges against the president you see so it, like i don't know why african constitutions most times are like this there are better ways to spell out some of these things but they won't because they will make it in such a way that you have to you know before you can undertake some of the tax it will be a headache for you and you might even end up giving up but then this is a country we're talking about you understand this is a country we're talking about so it went further and said well the senate by resolution may appoint a special committee comprising 11 of its members to investigate the matter you see well look at where it is going i actually wanted this to hit on the fact that if there is mismanagement of the country's economy then they can carry out this stuff but you know how this thing is is is, is shuffling or being put out there you know it's like when the person is accused of you know something but so many things that is happening is even more than accusations and when you look at the people that will even investigate this matter self is such a way that the people can be compromised because looking at pointing people to go and investigate the matter matter that everybody have seen and so many things so many reasons so many you know evidences of this people still want to go and investigate why if the people come back and says they have no you know vivid information about what is happening right now what do you say so that's why i was not trying to talk about the incapacity i said okay let's go by the you know the impeachment because the incapacity rumor of the president is just by let's see if the person have mental a uh, physical or mental you know retardation inability to do something maybe the person have some kind of um health issues like that you understand that is where you go by but the impeachment is talking about violation of law and maybe some kind of misconduct and in this and and indiscipline activities and so many things but if the people if this can be classified as you know what is happening in Kenya right now why, why not the people can go by it but then who knows we don't know the outcome of this uh, situation so and looking at what is uh, what is bothering me the more is the fact that what is bothering me the more is the fact that um the killings are you know happening in kenya because it is so sad it's so sad you understand it's so sad. <laughs>